E3 2017 is only a month away, and this year is shaping up to be one of the biggest of all time. Questions will be answered. Can Sony keep the positive momentum going with PS4 and big software announcements? How will Nintendo follow up their massively successful Switch launch? And can Microsoft close the gap with their new Scorpio hardware and some big exclusives? My name is Tony, and this is Strong Style Gaming Network's E3 2017 Preview Special. The format is simple. I'll be listing five predictions that I expect at E3 2017 for each of the big three console makers. And for fun, three megaton surprise announcements that are a little more crazy. So let's get started with the leader of the current console war, Sony. The Last of Us Part 2 As one of the most highly anticipated PS4 exclusives, I believe The Last of Us Part 2 will have a large presence at Sony's E3 stage this year. At the PlayStation Experience last year, we got our very first glimpse of the game. At E3, I expect a new trailer in addition to a gameplay demo that promises to blow audiences away. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Capcom and Sony have had a very close relationship this generation, and especially so when it comes to fighting games. Street Fighter V is a PC and PS4 exclusive, and thanks to Sony's involvement with the franchise, tournaments have been receiving higher prize pools than ever and even appearing on ESPN. I expect this relationship to continue with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, with a gameplay demo and a bunch of new characters announced. What better time to announce the Web Slinger as a playable character than on Sony's own stage? Call of Duty World War II No big surprise here. The yearly release of Call of Duty having a spot on Sony or Microsoft stage has basically been a tradition for close to 10 years now. Considering the marketing arrangement between Activision and Sony, I expect a bombastic single-player demo for Call of Duty World War II to probably open the show for Sony. I have big expectations for this game, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of it in action. God of War One of the big disappointments last year at the PlayStation Experience was the no-show of the new God of War game that had everyone buzzing at E3 last year. I think there's no doubt that Sony Santa Monica will have a new trailer and playable demo ready for this year's E3. In December 2016, Santa Monica creative director Cory Barlog even confirmed that the entire game was playable from start to finish. We could be looking at the game of the show come E3 if they've managed to deliver on the promise of what was shown last year. Destiny 2 Finally, there's no way Sony will be ignoring one of the biggest and most anticipated releases of the year. We are probably going to get an extended gameplay demo of Destiny 2 on Sony's E3 stage this year, along with some new info on the game, trailers, DLC announcements, and I'm sure much more. I expect Destiny 2 to dominate E3 this year. And now let's get to the fun part, the wild cards, the crazy predictions. Death Stranding First Gameplay Kojima Productions' new PS4 exclusive game, Death Stranding, was revealed at E3 2016 on Sony's stage alongside a teaser trailer. Since then, we've seen another trailer for the game during the Game Awards in December of 2016. At E3 2017, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that not only will Kojima cook up a new trailer for the game, but we'll get our first early look at some actual gameplay from the game. Kojima has already promised on Twitter that the game would be released prior to the year that the film Akira was set, which is 2019, so I don't think it's too much to ask for a bit of gameplay footage at this E3, right? Final Fantasy VII Remake Gameplay Footage and Release Date Announcement Hard to believe that it's been two years already since the massive announcement of Final Fantasy VII Remake on Sony's stage at E3. Since then, we haven't seen too much of the game, but earlier this year, Nomura revealed two new screenshots of the game and claimed that while he wanted to show new footage, Square Enix actually denied his request. I think we'll be seeing this footage on Sony Stage at E3 this year, along with a rough announcement for the release date of the first part of this massive episodic title. From Software New Game Announcement Miyazaki, who is the president of From Software and creator of Dark Souls, 
has confirmed that they are working on a number of games at the moment. Could this game be Bloodborne 2? Or maybe a new IP entirely? Whatever it is, I predict we'll hear about it for the first time at E3 on Sony stage. Overall, Sony is going into this E3 with a lot of momentum. They are the leader of this current generation and for good reason. Their software output has been second to none. While Microsoft and Nintendo will dedicate a lot of time to new hardware, Sony will have a more straightforward message this year. Games, games, and more games. What do you expect from Sony this year at E3? Let me know your predictions and crazy surprises in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button because I will be covering all of these games as we learn more about them at E3 next month. Keep it locked to my channel as I will have that Nintendo E3 predictions video up very shortly. Thanks for watching everybody and take care.